Welcome to Science Access. In today's class, we're going to be talking about the one sample t test. All right, now it's a very simple process. Now, let's assume that in a normal um, community or in a country, the water sample, the water, the pH for the water is seven, which is neutral, and you decide to collect samples. So, the 10 samples we collected, these are the values 6.8, 7.1. 7.2 and the values here and you are being asked to, cap, uh, to test if the pH that you got from the sample is actually different from that of the population uh, of um, that of the usual um, pH of the population so you use the test to do this one well, in this case note in t-test the formula is the sample mean minus the population mean all over this x is standard deviation and square root of n n is the number of samples that is actually taken please take note of this formula it simply means that what do you need to look for using these values you need to look for the sample mean all right the population mean is already given which is seven and it's always given in the question you need to look for the standard deviation and you need to look for a square root of the number of samples that is taken. So I'll arrange my data in this format. X, we have six here, 0.8, that is what you have here. The next, um, we have seven, we have 7.1, we have 7.2, and we have 7.3. So the total um, samples that we're taking is actually 10 values. So how many times did 6.8 occur once? 7.0 occur once you can check from the, um, the values 7.1 occur four times 7.2 occur two times 7.3 occur two times now i can also decide to just list the 10 um, values down then remove this table it will still be correct okay then note i've arranged this and this in this format the next thing that i need to do is simple I look for the f of x, which is use x to multiply f, or the frequency. So if I use 6.8 to multiply 1, we have this. If I use 7.0 to multiply this, we have this. If I use this to multiply this, we have this. If I use this to multiply this, we have this. If I use this to multiply this, and we have this. So what is the formula for mean? Mean is the, you sum all these values, which is actually the summation of what's the fx. So you can decide to sum all these values here and you realize that you also get this. So the formula for me is summation fx all over sum of what x, or you can just simply use mean is equals to sigma x all over what n, or summation x all over n, which means that you just add everything here, then you divide it by the number of values. So the summation fx is actually 71.2, which we have here, and summation f which is the frequency is 10 and if you if you carry a division you have 7.1 as your value for the mean okay once you get the mean you proceed to the uh, process of getting the standard division remember you have calculated the mean now so what do you need you know that n is 10 so we need to calculate for the standard division you can watch my standard division uh, video to understand this better so in this case what do i need to do i simply pick I'll construct this table, I'll calculate this table to get my standard deviation. How do I do that? It's simple. X minus X bar. Remember, X bar is actually the mean, right? So X here is 6.8. So it's 6.8 minus 7.12. You have this. Remember, X here is 6.8. You can note, you note that. The minus, what is the mean? 7.12. You have this. Now, square this value. Look for the square of this value. You have this. Because here, the difference between this place and this place is that you are using x. This place, you are just squaring the value that is here. So, if you square this value, you have this. Now, if I now use this place, now, if I now use f to multiply this, the value that I got here, I'll have this. So, here, I'll use 7... So here I'll use 6.8, which is 6.8 minus 6.8 minus 7.12. I'll have this. I'll just square this value that I got here. I'll have this. And 
if I now use, look, look at this place, it's F times this value, which is 1 times this value, I'll have this. The second one, I'll do the same thing, 7.0 minus 7.12, I'll have this. If I square this value, I'll have this. And if I use 1 to multiply this value, I'll have the same thing here. 7.1 minus 7.12, I'll have this. Now, if I square this value, I'll have 0 0.004. 0.004. It's actually four zeros. Okay. Now, to look, to put this number 0 0.0004 in two decimal places, if you square this one, you have 0 0.0004. If you, to put it in two decimal places, it simply means that we'll stop here. So that's the reason why I have 0 0.00 here, and it's actually zero. So you multiply it with four, you also have zero. Do the same thing for this place, 7.2 minus the mean. You have this, square this value. You have zero, please take note, you have 0 0.0064. Now, if I want to put this number in two decimal places, I'll have to end here. But because this one is up to six, because this one is up to six, I will change it to one and add it to this place. That's the reason why you can decide to put your number in four decimal places and you have a better for easier um, calculation so that you don't have to be uh, approximating or doing anything. But note that this, if you want to put it in two decimal places, it have to end here. But because this is actually bigger than five or is equal to and bigger than five, you can add, make, you make it one, then you put it. That's the reason why we have this. And if I use two to multiply this, have this. Do the same for this place. And that now brings us to, once you have done this, what you need to do is sum all the value. That means sum of this, which is sum all the values here. You have 0 0.19. Once you have done this, you are actually uh, gotten uh, your answer. It's just to apply the figures. So now let's calculate for the variance and standard deviation. Now, the formula for the variance is actually the sum that you have there which is this all over n minus one so the sum look at the table there the sum is actually 0 0.19 all over 10 minus one if you carry out you have 0 0.19 all over nine this is your variance standard deviation is the square root of variance which is the square root of 0 0.02 that you got here and that is the answer there so once you have your standard deviation your t-test to get your t-test is Sample mean minus population mean all over standard deviation divided by n. So what is the sample mean? We already have is 7.12. Now what is the population mean? We are giving in the question 7. And that is it here. What is now the standard deviation? You already got the value here. Put it here. Then divide. What is now the n is 10. So it's look for square root of 10. Subtract this from this. You have this. This is the, the square root of 10 is 3.16. Now use this to divide this. You have this. Use this to divide this. You have this. Take this one, still put it there. And if you carry out your division, this is our final answer.